Okay, Miss Claire's coming in hot. She's crushing them all. Oh, that's Miss Fritter for the win. Get out of the way, Lightning Cruise. Miss Fritter is one crazy school bus here. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button so you can see more fun videos we have coming very soon. Welcome to Pollywog Lagoon. We're here at the Thunder Hollow Speedway, ready to go in to a demolition derby. We've got Miss Fritter, APB, Taco, it looks like we have Lightning McQueen in disguise, and Cruz Ramirez. Hope you guys are ready to rumble. Oh, looks like Lightning McQueen's disguise is coming off. Suddenly, everybody knows who he is. Taco at the back end, rolling it around. Oh man, these guys are filthy. And look at Miss Fritter. She's doing great. She's about ready to take a taco and APB out. No, Cruz, are you okay? Oh, no. All right, we're back from the demolition derby, and we have APB, Lightning McQueen, Taco, and Cruz Ramirez here, and we're gonna have a pool party because, as you can see, they are filthy. It's time to get you guys suds up. Look at you guys, just covered in mud. Oh my goodness. Okay, Cruz Ramirez, you go first. All right, APB, it's your turn. Oh. Oh, ho. Lightning McQueen. And Taco does a cannonball. Oh, man. You guys looking any better yet? Oh, we can, we're kind of seeing some faces again. Ooh, a little slide. It's like a demolition derby inside of here. Except for it's in water instead of mud. Let's have a look. Oh, Lightning McQueen, you're looking much better already. And Cruz Ramirez. We can actually see your eyes again. My goodness, APB and Taco. There's some in his bed of his truck. You guys just keep sudsing up. Taco's gonna go down the slide this time. Okay, I think we're just about done here. Lightning McQueen's gonna sit on the lounge chair and dry off. And Cruz Ramirez, I like that idea. Now that these guys are pretty much rinsed off and clean, we're gonna dry them off. Yay, we've got everybody cleaned up after that demolition derby. Today, we are going to be reading this little golden book, Disney and Pixar Cars 3. And we have a few special guests joining us. See you soon. A little golden book, Disney Pixar Cars 3. Adapted by Victoria Saxon, illustrated by Vivian Wu, and designed by Tony Farron. Lightning McQueen was the best racer in the Piston Cup. He was quicker than quick, faster than fast. He was speed. Do you see Lightning McQueen right there? Here's Lightning McQueen. Number 95. Long ago, Lightning had the best coach in the world. His name was Doc Hudson. Doc taught Lightning to work hard and to love racing. There's Lightning McQueen and Doc Hudson. Now Lightning was competing against a new racer named Jackson Storm. He was from the next generation of race cars. Lightning raced as fast and as hard as he could, but he lost control and crashed. Ouch. Here is Jackson Storm. Ooh, he is fast. Lightning would not give up. Four months later, he was determined to compete in the new racing season. To prepare for the first race in Florida, he went to a high-tech training facility. Welcome, said Lightning's new sponsor, Sterling. I'm your biggest fan. Soon Lightning met a young trainer named Cruz Ramirez. She was the best trainer around. Cruz made Lightning do strange exercises. We need to loosen those ancient joints, she said. Lightning wanted to try a fancy racing simulator, but Cruz thought he wasn't ready. He tried it anyway. Uh-oh. And here is Cruz Ramirez mash him! So squishy. <laughs> Lightning had one last chance to prove he could still compete. He went to a local beach to get his tires dirty with some real training. Cruz went with Lightning to help him, but she had never raced outside. Perhaps the beach wasn't the best place to train. Uh-oh, looks like she's getting stuck in some sand. Lightning wanted to compete in a real race. He and Cruz went to Thunder Hollow Speedway and wore disguises so no one would recognize them. They soon discovered the race was a demolition derby. Lightning tried his best. He dodged and weaved to avoid other cars. He helped Cruz when the fierce school bus, Miss Fritter, charged at her. Then Cruz accidentally knocked over a water truck, which sprayed away Lightning's disguise. And the crowd was shocked to see 
Lightning McQueen. After the race, Lightning was upset. The training wasn't working. He was taking care of Cruz instead of focusing on racing. Then Lightning discovered that Cruz had wanted to race all her life. She lost her confidence, though, and she became a trainer instead. Lightning had an idea. He and Cruz went to Doc Hudson's hometown, Thomasville. They took a spin around the track. Then they saw a figure in the distance. His name was Smokey. He had coached Doc in his racing days. There's Smokey. Smokey took Lightning and Cruz to meet the legends, a group of Doc's racing friends from the old days. They had been waiting a long time to meet Doc's former student. The legends had lots of stories to share. They even told Lightning and Cruz about Doc's amazing flip. Doc hadn't been the fastest racer, but he had been the smartest. Smokey agreed to coach Lightning, and Cruz became Lightning's training partner. They worked on their speed and agility by weaving through a herd of tractors. Lightning worked hard. Before the big competition in Florida, he raced Cruz one last time around the Thomasville track. He gave it everything he had, but before he knew it, zoom, Cruz won. Now it was time to go to Florida, and when Lightning arrived, he was nervous. He didn't know if he could win. If this was the end of his career, he would be heartbroken, like Doc had been. Smokey said that Doc had loved racing, but he loved being Lightning's crew chief even more. He saw something in you that you don't even see in yourself, Smokey had told Lightning. The race was about to begin, but Lightning thought about Cruz. She had trained him and had even beaten him in a race. He knew she should be living her dream as a racer. She just needed a chance. Suddenly, Lightning had an idea. He would leave the race and Cruz would finish it. Lightning believed in her just like Doc had believed in him. Ramon gave her a cool new paint job with the number 95. Cruz was nervous at first, but Lightning supported her from the crew chief stand and she quickly sped past the other racers. When Cruz caught up to Jackson Storm, he pushed her into the wall, but Cruz remembered Doc's amazing trick and she flipped over Storm. Cruz won the race. Cruz's racing career was just beginning, and Lightning's career at the track was far from finished. Together, they made an unstoppable team. Yay! The end. Hope you enjoyed the story and had fun reading the book about Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez, Jackson Storm, and a couple other characters that are going to be in the movie, Shannon Spokes, Danny Suarez and Rick Yardley. Woo! -hoo! Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you enjoyed reading the Cars 3 book. If you want to see more videos coming soon, please hit the red subscribe button. Bye bye!